Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres, and today we are at Grant Cardone's headquarters in Florida. And let me tell you, I just now watched a pitch competition, and I have one of the directors on the line here. So first off, Portia, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Oh my gosh. So I just, obviously we just got done watching the pitch competition. Mind blown. My first time coming to one of these things, and I have to say it was quite an experience. Maybe just start off with talking a little bit about your background and the organization and what we're doing here today. Yeah, of course. So I'm Portia Richardson, the founder and executive director of Tumani, D.C. I grew up in Washington, D.C. in the same community that most of our students grew up in. And so I became a teacher mm -hmm. and I, you know, looked at my background, my own background as a teacher. So I grew up in a single parent household. My dad was on and off drugs, in and out of prison. Mm -hmm. I watched my mom struggle, but it was great programs like Tumani that gave me access to resources and opportunities that I would have never had otherwise. Mm -hmm. So when I became a teacher, I thought about ways that I could bridge the gap between communities and schools. Mm -hmm. There were so, dis so many disparities happening in the communities. And I felt like a lot of the schools I taught in, they did a great job of like teaching the academics yeah. and making sure students were pre prepared for testing and even college and career in some cases, mm -hmm. but there was this deep like social and emotional piece that was mm -hmm. missing because of the trauma in our communities. And so that is how Tuwani was born by, you know, thinking about a solution of how we can offer resources, mentorship, innovative and trajectory shifting programming like mm -hmm entrepreneurship programming as well as vocational programming um, and social and emotional and, and mostly um, emotional intelligence yeah. based programming that really pushes students to success and takes more of a holistic approach. So that's how we started and this was 11 years ago. Wow. Yes. I heard so I heard a little I heard a little fragment of a story about how you originally met the Grant Cardone Foundation or how the original pitch took place. Give me the full story. Give me the full story. I got to hear it. That was a wild ride. So in 2020, during COVID, everybody was bored at home yeah. and there was this app that took off called Clubhouse. Oh, yeah. And I so was on Grant it. Grant was like running. He was like the Clubhouse guy. He always does that. Every time there's a new platform. I remember from Periscope days. Yeah, yeah I got like it. He, he ran Clubhouse. And so my husband was like, let's listen in to Grant's room. And so he actually, my husband actually introduced me to Grant Cardone because oh. he was always a fan. <laughs> and so I got into this room and there's these people in there like pitching, you know, real estate investment companies and nobody pitched a nonprofit. Okay. okay. But I call myself one of those crazy people wow. that do a lot of crazy things. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, what if I pitched to Monty? And he was like, do it. And there was like thousands of people in this yeah. room. So I raised my hand virtually. And surprisingly, Grant brought me to the stage. To you pitch. got picked. Well, how are you feeling at that moment? You're like, yeah, so I've been flicking. <laughs> <laughs> I was like running through the house, grabbing paper. <laughs> like, I'm going to say this. He's like, Portia, it's your organization. Yeah. You talk about this mission all the time. Why are you nervous right now? Put the paper down and pitch. Yeah. And I put the paper down. I pitched from my heart. Wow. My soul. wow. I knew our numbers. I'm so familiar with our mission because our mission is my story. Yeah. And Grant was like, wow, this <laughs> is amazing. And he said, yes, you're in D.C. and I'm in Florida, but I'm going to make it happen and we're going to make big impact together. Mm -hmm. What's something that's very interesting, and I always say this, and this is one of the reasons I love Grant, mm -hmm. is because there were other people on this virtual stage. Yeah. So he asked everybody to match his gift. Mm -hmm. And there were so many people who will remain nameless, yeah. who agreed to match his gift. And Grant was the only person that kept his commitment and his word. Wow. And not just to the financial gift, because yeah. that is the that has been a very impactful component of, of this partnership. Mm -hmm. But it's these moments. It's the mm -hmm. pitch off where we get to bring students. You know, two years ago we brought thirty students here. <laughs> you know, every year we bring on average twenty to thirty students. He wow. fly us in from DC, pay for our accommodations. Mm -hmm. And for most of our students, this is their first time ever getting on a plane. Mm -hmm. They're for some of their first time staying in a hotel mm. definitely their first time pitching a business developing a business you know and coming yeah. in front of senior leaders and yeah. senior people like yourself highly successful individuals to pitch their ideas so wow. that has been to date our students have won mm. now after today yeah they've won over ninety thousand dollars amazing my bank. Yes. wow that's absolutely amazing what's one of your favorite parts about the whole pitch 
competition process just to let it could be any piece of it just to let the audience at know at home just know how significant this is yeah i think the biggest part is like seeing them get out of their own way and out of their own head yeah a lot of people see it adults as like, need that hold right. on <laughs> Like, for the I, you know, I, I need it too. Me too. <laughs> right. And so, and and the other thing is, I have a movement, personal movement called yeah. the Impactpreneur Movement. Yeah. And so, it's people who are not your everyday entrepreneurs, yeah. but very committed to trajectory shifting resources yeah. that's going to bring change. And so, all of you, you heard from all of our businesses, mm -hmm. we push them to start with what are you passionate about? What's your purpose? What is a pressing problem that you mm. want to solve? And so these are businesses that are impactful, that are solving a pressing problem in mm. our community. Mm. So that's the first thing. The second is because we do this trauma-informed work, yeah. a lot of our students come to us and they feel like, you know, I'm not enough. Yeah. This is too much. This is too big. Yeah. There's no way I can go all the way to Miami and do this. <laughs> There's no way somebody's going to invest in my, my yeah. business. And some of them, unfortunately, have been told that they're not enough. Mm. Some of them have mm. had adverse experiences that have made them feel like they're not enough. Yeah. So when I see them push through all of those adversities, mm. when I see them get out of their head and truly own their power mm. and take this stage. And honestly, what you guys saw today yeah. We were surprised because when they get up there, they throw in some extra razzle that yeah. we've never seen. Before. You're like, how they do that? We're I had Sarah from. on the line. I had Sarah on the show, and she's like, wait, where they what? Right. <laughs> so there's this magic that happens yeah. when they get in the room and they finally get out of their head. So mm. that's really my favorite part of this whole experience, the process for them. Mm and how they grow and develop with their businesses. All right, so last thing I want you to do here, Portia, is I want you to look directly into the camera and tell everyone, the other business leaders out there, why they should be supporting the Grant Cardone Foundation and why they should be supporting the pitch competition in general. So. Absolutely. Okay, to everyone out there, you should be supporting the Grant Cardone Foundation and Tumani DC because we are providing opportunities for young people and communities where they would not otherwise have access to these resources and opportunities. The experiences that our students have are not just experiences that will change their lives, but it will impact generation after generation. It will allow them to create a legacy for themselves and it will allow them to break the cycle of trauma and poverty in our community. So please, Please donate and support these organizations. <laughs> Amazing. And so thank you, Portia. And for everybody listening at home, if you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe or follow button. This is a daily show. Each and every day we're providing you with new content, new thought leaders, and hopefully new stories that will help you along the way in your journey as well. So again, hit that subscribe or follow. And Portia, again, thank you so much thank for coming to the show. It's been an absolute me. pleasure. Thank you.